The duum quine thesis, also known as the quine duum theory, asserts that it is impossible to test a scientific hypothesis in isolation. This is because any empirical test necessitates assuming the truth of one or more auxiliary hypotheses. In other words, the testing of a hypothesis is always influenced by other background assumptions and theories. The quine duum theory challenges the traditional view of hypothesis testing in science. According to this thesis, when a hypothesis is put to the test and found to be inconsistent with the empirical evidence, it is not necessarily the hypothesis itself that is at fault, but rather the entire network of beliefs and assumptions surrounding it. In essence, the quine duum theory suggests that the testing of scientific theories is a much more complex and intertwined process than previously thought. It highlights the interconnectedness of hypotheses, auxiliary assumptions, and background theories, and emphasizes that no hypothesis can be tested in isolation. The implications of the quine duum theory are significant for the philosophy of science and the practice of scientific inquiry. It challenges the idea of testing hypotheses in a straightforward, linear manner and instead emphasizes the intricate web of interconnected beliefs and assumptions that underpin scientific theories. Furthermore, the quine duum theory implies that the evaluation of scientific theories must take into account not only the specific hypotheses being tested, but also the broader network of background beliefs and assumptions. This has profound implications for how scientific theories are validated and revised.